Um, listen, do you mind waiting a sec? At least tell me where we're going. Well, it's got five stars in the spa, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> oh, Peter Ballon, what's got into you? That it's called being spontaneous now, getting the car before I change my mind. Mm -hmm. Tell me again how we got so lucky. You said I do. Oh. <laughs> Whatever happens, Roy, I don't want you to do anything. You mustn't touch this glass, my medication, any of it. Do you understand? This was my choice. Is it then? I didn't know I would feel. How could you? Please don't be afraid. A wall spot now. Lying here with you, how could I be? I wouldn't be anywhere else. All right. I'm so glad I knew you, Roy. Thank you. Thank you for all of it. I, I'm the one who should be grateful. Well, let's not row about it, eh? I've been so lucky. I've not swapped the few years we had for a thousand of anyone else's. Because I know what it is to be loved. Truly loved. I, I hope you do too. What ways? Then remember it. I love you. Always have and always will. I'm so sorry I have to go. No, I, I just wish I'd go. I know I do. So you're not back for good then? Uh, no, no. Just got a few things to sort out and then I'm heading back to London. What are you going to that London for? It's much nicer here. <sighs> well, it's the bright lights, Lloyd. Can't resist them. Well, don't run off without saying goodbye, all right? All right, I won't. Nah, be. it's on me, mate. Oh, thank you. Hey, yeah, you're back. Ah, oh, well, just for a bit while I sort my stuff out. What are you for? Till Friday. 
Oh, well, if you want to spend some time with Jake, whenever you like. Oh, yeah, I'd like that. Thanks, Liz. Anytime you like. All right, see, see you later. later. want me. You're cutting it a bit fine, aren't you? Go on, sling your rucksack in the back. You have got to be kidding me. Mum, he is a married man. Oh, Dennis, you can't do this to Rita. Are you shameless, Jose? Are you for real? Are you absolutely certain you want this? If you have any doubts whatsoever, step away from the car. I want adventure. Yes, yeah, so do I, but we can't all go running off into the night. The world will grind to a halt. Plenty of time to relax when I'm dead. Jump in. We've got a boat to catch. Bye, love. Take care of yourself. This is a lounge. Maria. Oh, God. How could you? Yeah. Sweetheart, are you all right? Take me home. Yeah, of course. Come on. Maybe you should give her a bit of time. Yeah. You'll enjoy staying with Uncle Kirk, won't you? Eh? Yeah. Just so Mummy's feeling a bit better. Maria, it's me. Please let me in. Maria! It meant nothing, I swear. It's Todd. He's been after me since day one. Well, I should thank him then, shouldn't I? Because he's made me see you for what you really are. And I don't mean gay. Maria, I didn't mean to hurt you. I tried to fight it, but I... Well... If you had to try, then we really never had anything, did we? But we did. We do. I love you. Why are you doing? You liar! It's all lies. I loved you. I am loved you. You know. Maria, have it. Shut your mouth. 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 Shut your
So this is it then. Look, Dev, about what happened oh, between. No, please. please, no, no, yeah, I made an absolute fool of myself, but that was down to me, right? Not you. <laughs> it's not that I don't. Still, you know, if there's one thing that we both know is that we can't help who we fall in love with, right? Any more that we can force ourselves to fall in love. You know, um, today is the anniversary of Sunita's, uh, the day she died. Oh, Dev, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize. You okay? Yeah. I'll survive, you know. I know that now. You know, I couldn't have got through this last year without you. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I'm gonna miss you. Clear. Yeah, nothing else left. And if there is, you're wearing it. Well, I think I've got everything. Well, maybe not everything. Come here. Oh. You're gonna be fine. I know. I know. I am so proud of you, you know that, don't you? Come here. I want you to grab every opportunity you can, okay? I didn't think you were going to get away with going without saying goodbye, did you? No. This tax on a meeting, you know, come on. Yeah, all right. Oh, so oh. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Oh, I am. Um, I've got this. Thank you. Look after her, eh? Got it. Bye, Stella. Stars, Fred, in the Gave the nurse the number. I said it were a long shot. You knew damn well I'd come. Good old Rita. Glutton for punishment. Might even get grapes. I didn't bring grapes, by the way. Well, what happened? Turf wars. <laughs> I bedded down in the wrong shop doorway. So you're sleeping rough again? Uh, I've come full circle. Back to the gutter I came from. And, uh, what about her? <laughs> the G word. The woman's a despot bossing me about, telling me what I should wear, what I should think, who I should talk to. Not the glamorous hippie you thought. I had just about enough left for the plane fare home. I say home. Home means you. The two go hand in hand. Bit like you and Gloria going into the sunset. Oh, Rita, can you ever forgive me? No. I'd like to, for my sake. The hurt, the anger. The resentment, the humiliation, you name it, I felt it, still do. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I just came to check that you weren't lying on a slab in the mortuary. Goodbye, and good luck. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, for you tread on my dreams. I've still got the little card you gave me. Best chuck it in bin, cos you drove a coach and horses through my dreams and then left me for dead. Rita! Get in. You can sleep on the settee until you sort out some proper accommodation. Thank you. Well, I'll uh, just phone the Hilton and cancel my reservation. Not funny. I don't want chit-chat. I don't want charm offensive. I don't want to walk down memory lane. And I don't want to add insult to injury. Good. I'm eternally grateful. Add gratitude to that don't want list. 
I've broken us beyond repair, haven't I? Smithereens. And that's all you're getting by way of a post-mortem. Maria Connor. Yeah? PC Brew and PC Swinton. Weatherfield Police. Kirk, I know you're a mate, but... Hey, what's going on here? Maria! What's happening? What do you think? Come on, for some kind of mistake. Just stand aside, please, sir. But I'm a brother. Leave it, Kurt. Is this your doing? <laughs> They're always so romantic, sincere, optimistic. Three qualities you could never associate with Tracy Barlow. Oh, all that fiancé of hers. <laughs> In the end, I went for humour. Two baboons scrapping. If you look on the back, you will see they are actually two proboscis monkeys. Mm. They're kissing. Mm. I thought it would appeal. And are you going to line it with £50 notes? No. Then it won't appeal. We're, We're closed. closed. Oh, now you can keep your bonbons. I'm just here for a word with Rita, if you don't mind. I'll lock up. Uh, you get off. Well, uh, uh, no, no, you've hardly sat down all day. Uh. Okay. The beginning's a good place to start. <clears throat> I'm moving on. I know, I know I've said it before, but um, this time it's for good. I fell in love with a married man. Oh, Tina. I am sorry, No, love. no, don't be. We're, we're leaving together. I mean, it's a happy ending. Not for his wife, I should imagine. You feel let down and you've got every right. Um, no, I just want to say, um, you've been my mate. I'm a mum. I'm a grandma. <laughs> all rolled into one. And I'm really going to miss you. Oh, we've got to keep in touch. Or would this chap of yours not like that? Does he have children? Please don't judge without knowing their facts. Then tell me. Is it someone I know? Does it matter? It matters to me. A man who walk out and his wife and kids without a backward glance. Really, you're making it sound so easy. What foundation for a future is that? Hey, who's to say he'll stand by you? Because he loves me. And he needs me. Are you ashamed of him? No, that, he is my world. I'm giving up everything for him. And Tina, why don't I feel happy for it's you? It's Peter Barlow. You happy now? The man that I love is Peter. Thought you'd more sense. Oh, nice. Nice. Not good luck, Tina, or I hope you're happy together, Tina. How can you? With that man, he sails through life just, just taking, taking. Oh, and always plenty of women, strong, smart women, who think they'll be the one. Is that what you think? That you'll succeed where all the others have failed? For heaven's sake, he hasn't been married five minutes. That was a mistake we knew on the day. He went through with it, though, didn't he? Got his feet under the table at the factory, his hands on the joint account. He's a user, Tina. He will bleed you dry and then he will dump you. But you are so blind and desperate for someone, anyone to love you, you can't even oh, see Oh, you'd the... know all about that, wouldn't you? Eh? Rita, Tanner, Sullivan, Fairclough. Love for sale. How much shall I write the cheque out for? What I'm saying is stay quiet. Don't tell Carla. Don't talk to the police, and no-one gets hurt. Except me. What about me, Rob? Oh, you were knocking off someone else's he husband, Tina. Me. No, he fancied you. He loved her. That's why he's over there, and you're still here. It was more than that. No. No, it wasn't. Look, everyone fancies you, but no-one would want to settle down with you. You're too full-on. You're always ranting and raving, kicking off about something. But do, do you know what you should do, Tina? Shut up and smile. Why should you all get away with it, hmm? Tracer, Peter, Carl.
Carla! What has she ever done to you? What are you doing? I just want to hear you say that you're going to keep your mouth shut. I will never keep my mouth shut, Rob! I will scream it from oh, the rooftop! Come on, try it! Now, let me go. Let me go! Not until you promise me! Dad! You ain't got the guts. You're worse than Peter. Last chance. I will tell Carla, and I'll tell the police, and I tell anyone who wants to hear it. Tracy can visit you in prison, Rob. Oh, no, she can't, sorry, no, she can't. Because she'd be banged up and all. You know what I'll do then? What? I'll show up and smile. Get me away! Shut ah! up! That's a promise. From the bottom of my heart, on Simon's life, I did not sleep with Tina on our wedding night. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I, I appreciate that sounds a bit, you know... Like I should be grateful for no, some I, mercy. No, I honestly did not mean that. What did you think was going to happen, Peter? Well, that, that's exactly what she said. You know, I suppose I always knew that I would have to sit you down and tell you this at some point. So where did this great love affair take place, eh? Is it in our bed? Carla. Her bed? Please. Occasional hotel room. When I was in Paris, obviously. Oh, yeah. When you were at your meetings. When I was working and you were yeah, late. OK, you've got the general idea. All right, yeah? And how was she, Peter? Was she better than boring old me, eh? No, she's not better. It's different. Really need to brush up on your answers, mate. I know you hurt, and I know what you must be thinking that you know that I, either I was unhappy or that you had done something wrong. But neither of those things are true. You have not done anything wrong. In fact, you have given me so much. You know, I don't know, maybe too much. I beg your pardon. Well, the factory and the bookies and the way that that all panned out. You know, you having to pay my way. Well, I hurt your pride. No. Yeah, well, yes, OK, the, yes, maybe there was a bit of that. And meanwhile, she was making eyes at you, so... Look, I'm not going to lie to you. That is pretty much the gist of it. That's... But you know how much I love you, don't you? You copped off on our wedding day. So, no, Peter, I don't know how much you love me at all. I know I gave you half of my business, I know... You're the only man I have ever wanted to have children with. I know how much I loved you. But no, I don't know how much you loved me. The only conclusion I can I can come to is that you didn't love me at all. I do love you. That I'm just a convenience. You know that I'm that someone to live you. with. That, I, that I, I definitely understood your drinking, but other than that, I'm just, I'm just somebody to get your dirty laundry off the floor. Me astray, like. Like you know, what? Like I did, you mean, when you were married to Leanne? Is that what you were going to say? Well, yes, I suppose so, but I'm not saying that, that to be so... critical. I'm <sighs> just saying that we started out the same way. The, only, the difference is that I loved you and I wanted you and I left Leanne so that we could be together. But, Whereas but you wouldn't Tina, leave me for your even... little piece on the side, would you? Is that, is that what you're getting at? No. Is that the most you can say for our marriage? No, that isn't the most I can say for well, our I marriage. I must be doing something wrong three times, three times. I, I, this, I really finally thought I'd cracked it. I don't need you. I don't need you at all. You can go to hell like the rest of them. You're the most incredible person that I've ever met. <laughs> you know? You're an amazing person you're and I must... You're a bad father. What the hell did mind. I even see in you? I, I don't know. Well, I know one thing, Peter. I've never felt so pregnant. Backstabbing little bitch. You're OK. Ah. Oh. You, you, you fell, remember? It, it was an accident. We, we were talking on the balcony and, and, and you fell. Yeah, I remember. I, I, I'll call you an ambulance. 
Anna, please go for yourself. What? <clears throat> no, 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 no. You, you, you've had a bang on the head. You, you, your mind's <gasps> not. Your mind's playing tricks on you. I, I say you jumped. I, I say you're lying. I, I say anything that I have to. So will I. What? Receiving stolen goods. Followed by attempted murder. I bet you wish you hadn't come round that way. I'm, I'm happy, Tina. I'm, I'm, I'm getting married. But think about Amy. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm like a father to that kid. I don't know what she'd do without me. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Oh, she's Steve's kid, right? Not yours. I bet you answered two words to her in your whole life. You're too young to be this bitter. You tried to kill me! <laughs> At least that's what I'll tell him. Forcing your way in, making all kind of threats, and then. From me that balcony. Oh. See, Rob, me, I'll recover from this. You won't. No, I'll call her up. Peter. <laughs> Let me tell you something else. I'm staying single now. I've escaped. I'm free. I've got my whole life ahead of me now. And I intend to live it. You should have kept it shut. Tough. I was born copper. Yeah. Yeah, you'll die, Gobby, too. Oh, <laughs> White, two sugars. Oh, jeez. It's not much of a job, is it? Like worse. Yeah. I mean, you should be out there looking for whoever did this to her. Well, I'm here to make sure whoever did do this doesn't come back for more. Yeah, well, if they do, point them my way, yeah. Anyone would think we'd nothing better to do. And we haven't. The consultant keeps reminding me how bad injuries are. Yeah, I know, but this is Tina. I mean, I, I think she'll be all right. I think someone should phone her mother. Am, is it? Yeah. Actually, I think my mum's got a number. Come on, love. Come on. Just... Try and wake up for us, no? Just, just try. Wake up. How long has he been in there? About 20 minutes now. Hello, Lou. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. How's Tina? We're all consultants in there with her now. We've got our fingers crossed. Yeah, me too. Have the police interviewed you yet? Yeah. What did they say? Oh, nothing really. Just asked loads of questions and... Questions about what? Well, I don't know. All sorts. About Tina, what she was like before. Have they asked anything about Peter? Well, they said not to, you know, talk about the stuff they asked me. Why would they say that? I don't know. That's just what they said. Well, do you know something we don't? Oh, David, give her a break. Well, what's your mind? Oh, hello. I, I wish... Well, the pressure on her brain has decreased. Well, that, that's good, isn't it? It suggests that the surgery was a success, but she's still on a big battle ahead, and she's still critically ill. Can you give us permission to hope? It's the first step. Well, I'll take that as a yes. Awesome.
Oh, yeah, you're all right. All right. You come to see Tina? Yeah, I, I just wanted to find out how she was. They, they won't tell you anything over the phone. No, I know. I was just filling Carly in. They don't let your phones on the ward, so... Well, is she awake? Uh, not yet, but, you what know... The, uh, what the doctor said? You can ask Rita if you want. She's spoken to the consultant. Oh, I, I don't know. It's... Oh, come know. on. I mean, when she does wake up, she's going to want to see as many friendly faces as possible, yeah, isn't she? Yeah, but it's family, and Look, it's... you can't come all this way and not see her, can you? I mean, she'd be dead angry. You know what Tina's like when she's angry. Come on, I'll show you it, way. So they think the operation was a success? Yeah. Hopefully she's on the mend now. It's nice of you to come. Oh, well, you know, Tina was a mate. Is a mate. I was just waiting for her to wake up. I mean, it could be any time now. Yeah. Yeah. I know she'll pull through. Yeah, me too. She's got a lot of people rooting for her, so. What was that? What's going on? What is that noise for? What are you doing? Can you take a seat outside? No, it's adrenaline. Good happening to her. Best possible help. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Hey, come on. She'd want you to be strong for her. And you, and you. What's the blood gas levels, please? Nice and pure, like 8.2. Okay, pads are on. Okay, charging. Clear. How is she? She should be. She should be all right. I know she will. She'll be all right. Stop compressions. Let me do a pulse check. Still no output. Carry on compressions. Can I have another adrenaline ready to give and get some amiodarone ready to you, please? How long have you been going? Nine minutes. I find it difficult to back. The bagging is fine. Can somebody take over? Yeah, I will. Look, it's five to eight. I think we should stop now. Does anyone disagree? So, time of death, 1955. Thanks, everyone. Go and talk to the relatives. It's all going to be OK, right? We're going to get to the hospital, OK? Rob, go and get the car. What? Get the car, Rob! Uh, no, we've got plans. Keys. <laughs> the keys. Oh. Come on, quick, Rob. All right, all right. Oh, great, I'll go on my own. Tracy! Oh. All right, listen, darling, I'm going to ring ahead, OK, to A&E. Let them know we're on our way, OK? We're trying to team a turn right, right, right. Carla, I know you hate me, but this is our baby, so if there's a problem, I, I, I need to be there. She said she doesn't want you there. Now do one! Is there anything we can do? <laughs> oh, we'll stand in here, go. I, I, I don't think we should go anywhere until the car leaves. I'm worried you might miss him. <laughs> steady, 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 steady. Can you at least let me know what's going on? Can you do that? I won't have time for the hospital. Come on, Dom. All right. 
Please, can someone let Liz know where I've gone? I was meant to be going to Amy's show. Don't you worry, I'll tell her. And, and good luck. Be a very neighbourly today. She is a neighbour. What's up now? Just going to check your temperature and blood pressure, if that's OK. Yeah. How strong would you say the pain is on a scale of uh, 1 to 10? Seven. Great. I don't know. I was in it about two weeks ago, but the pain was nothing like this. It's nine, oh, God, make that ten now, ten. I just need to examine you, if that's OK. Yeah. I'll just go and get you a gown. OK. There's nothing we can do now. I'm sorry. I want you to stay overnight so you can get some rest. I haven't got anything in toothpaste. I see you. Fond farewell. I'm filling up. I really am. No, you're not. There's only one person you'll ever cry for, and believe me, one day you will. <laughs> like I need your pity. Pack it in. Go get him. Just ignore him. I only wish I could have. It's you you couldn't ignore, Marcus, not him. Still gonna miss you, though. Right, I best go. Don't want to miss my train. Oh, no. <laughs> Call me when you get there. Of course I will. <laughs> right. See you guys. I could smell the cabbage my man was boiling for his tea. I, I, I could hear her inside singing to herself. Then she stopped. Next thing I knew, she's on the step giving me a clip round the ear. You have to ruin everything, Dennis Tanner. Everything you touch, you just don't think. Well, she was right. She always was. Uh, I don't know what possessed me to do it, but I did. And it's still the... I'm gonna miss you. Your flat will feel so empty. It's good I'm going. I'd only upset things in the end. Let me give you some money for a cab. Oh, no, no. Twenty. I... Oh, you... You're very kind. Wherever you end up, you call me, and you let me know that you're all right. Make sure Eileen never covers that up. <laughs> See you, love. Bye, then. It never changes. Hey. 
Uh, I'm not sure if I've got the right cell. Clellan sent me, he said uh, he spoke to you. I know who you are, and I know why you're here, so I do. Jim. Peter Barlow. Welcome to the big house. Take care, yeah? I bet you're glad to see the back of me. Well, can't lie. <laughs> you won't give me an inch, will you? Old habits. <laughs> going on? Thanks for talking some sense into me. What? Before, what you said, it was a proper wake-up call. What, are you leaving? Mm -hmm. That was quick. There's no point hanging around. Done enough of that. Well, where are you going to go? I'm thinking of volunteering overseas. Wow. I mean, I don't know the details yet, but... No, it sounds amazing. I'm dead jealous. <laughs> Chuck some stuff in a rucksack. Well, I would, but there is something really good on telly tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no contest. Right then. Um. Bye. I'll keep in touch. Yeah, make sure you do, and um, good luck. <laughs> Bye. Right then. Let's be having you. Whatever you think of me, I really love your dad. I am so glad I got to know you, Dad. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Oh, come here. You know where I am if you need me. And on that, that's just like a pile of junk that Daddy should have cleared away so Uncle Jason could board the, the walls. Oh, can you see? Oh, I can't quite see that. Oh, that's better. You see that behind the boxes? I'll zoom in a bit. That picture, Grandma Vera. He's up there! Who is? Him! Oh! I don't believe it! What are you doing up there, mate? He won't talk! I've called his mother all sorts! Well, well, whatever you're trying to prove, you've proved it! I'm not talking to you. Only Andrea. Hey, what's all the racket in here, Dov? Blimey, O'Reilly, what's he doing up there? He said he'll only talk to Andrea. Where is she? She's at work. Dev, do us a favour, mate. Bring us back my ladders, will you? What's he doing up there? Oh, I'm fixing the aerial. There's a programme that Sally wants to watch, some period drama. It's got her in it, you know, her with the air. She was in thingy my jig. Oi! These yours? Yeah, they're my ladders. Bring them back. He's pinched them. I want to get. I don't like it up here. Hey, those ladders are going nowhere till that lunatic is down from my chimney. Right. I'm going to count to three, and if you've not budged, there's going to be trouble. Elaine, so what time she finish? It varies, mate. One! Well, what? Steve's mother just said no! Well, the my ladders! It's my roof! But the weather might change! What do you want? He wants his head tested. What the heck will you just do something? I can't. I swear if I survive this, I am gonna kill you. You just need to hang on. Really? Really? I'm coming, babe. What's she doing up there? I really need to get up there. Don't worry, we're on it. Oh, we? Yes, come on. Lloyd, stop gassing and do something. The window. Oh. Try try and get her in through the window. Dev, go with him. Where? I'm slipping. Someone help me, please. Oi, what about me? Tim? Where's this fire engine? This is hopeless, Lloyd. Okay, we should go down. We should stand underneath, just in case. Babe, listen to me. I'll be right back. Just hold on. Really? Really? Hold on. If one more person says hold on... Oh, my God! It says here that if she breaks both her legs, she'll only break four bones. Someone help me! But if she breaks both her feet, she'll break 52. That's I'm mental. Slipping. Someone help me! <sighs> Andrea... You have to trust me. When I give the word. No! No! Let go of the gun, Jim. 
You know me. You know me. I'm, I'm sleeping. Oh, yeah. I've got you. I've got you. She's okay. You're right. Oh, well, at least she's okay. I mean, don't worry about our Peter. I'm sorry. Look, Peter may have killed Tina, but that doesn't mean you have to blank him. Oh, drop it, Trace. It's like denying a dying man his last request, isn't it? I mean, she could have at least spoken to him. Tracy, we're not supposed to mention the P word, remember? It was the T word, actually. She started it. It wasn't my fault he rang. What's the T word, anyway? Trial. Oh, sorry. No good. Just have to manage without. Ah, oh, that looks lovely. It was a few lousy words. It would have cost you now. If I don't want to speak to him, I don't have to. I don't know what it's got to do with you anyway. He's my brother. The jelly hasn't set. Well, then you speak to him. And while you're at it, you can give him a few tips on how to get off. I'm oh, you sure cheeky cow! Oh, can we all please it just hasn't can? Lot. Well, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Jelly shouldn't run. It should wobble. Deirdre! Oh, well, thanks for that. Don't blame her. I'll go. Oh, look. Oh, great! Choose her over my mum. I think you need to get away for a while, love. You know, just till all this is over. Why do you ring Bev, see if you can go stay? <sighs> I need to be at the trial. Look, Peter's already said he thinks it'd be better if he didn't come. And it's not going to help him if he sees how upset you are. But what about you? No, I'll be fine. Besides, if I don't have to worry about you, I'll be able to focus more on Peter. <sighs> All right. I'll run you. Not too early, am I? No, you're spot on as uh, ever. <laughs> I bought some of the ham you so admire. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh, no, you shouldn't have. Plus pickle. Oh. oh. Can I get you a drink? Just a fizzy water if you have one. Yeah, I think you're in luck. You're all right, Roy. How are the wedding plans coming along? Yeah, OK. I've been making some individual soaps, you know, for favours. Oh, Hayley once brought me some soap on a rope. It was quite fashionable for men at one time. Mm, you can still get that. Why one would want soap on a rope, I was never able to establish. <laughs> this ham is amazing. Hey, yeah! Uh, what? Have you got a case of folk wedding yet? No, we're still looking into it. That's right. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Well, I'd be delighted if that's what you wanted. Yeah? Well, let's talk tomorrow. It could be my wedding present to them. No, I didn't mean for free. Well, I did. That'd be amazing. Who's that now? The cake would be included, of course. Roy, you are a national treasure. Oh. Mm -hmm. There you go. Come on. An optic Kirks. You said you were over here, so. Well, don't look so pleased to see me. You're not living in South Africa then? Wolverhampton. How long have you known Chesney? A year and a half. What happened to the other lass? The one you had Joseph with? Katie. Didn't work out. I hope you still see him, though. All the time. Good. Because the boy needs his father. <laughs> have you still got the one? And Tyrone's little girl, Ruby. I can't wait to see them all. We could have seen them every day if you hadn't moved abroad. I invited Ches over a couple of years back. It wasn't my fault he didn't come. Right, so why are you here now? To see my children and my grandchildren. Is that a crime? You could have let us know you were coming. I didn't know I had to book an appointment. What's up with your wrist? I just give it a bang. I hope you're looking after her. Yeah, I do my best. Wasn't it your mother who were in and out of prison all the time? I don't have much to do with her anymore. Breakdown in family life. It's terrible. For what it's worth, I think that Fizz and Tyrone do a remarkable job of parenting. Oh, really? 
as does Chesney. So where's your other half? You've not split up from Ailey, have you? No. Uh, you were joined at the hip, as I remember. She passed away earlier this year. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Pancreatic cancer. Must have been awful for you. Mm. Still. Looked at future. Can I have a peek at my granddaughter while I nipped at the bathroom? It's on the left as you come out. Don't wake her up. I'll not make a sound. What does she want? There'll be something. Don't you worry. That, or at least come oh, round. You're obsessed. Like she was facing her attacker. I say, I know that because the, the police grilled me. Obsessed? Will you stop this? The damage of her head. That must have been terrifying. Just to look up. I think that's it. My life's over. Here. On a dirty street by a dirty builder's yard. With a skip full of other people's junk. What is here. wrong with you? What's wrong with me is I'm looking at you and all I see is haunted and tortured and scared. I'm scared, Bob. So you tell me. Please tell me the truth. Just tell me. You killed her, didn't you? Didn't you? Just tell me the truth. Oh, please, one word. Just, it's me. One word. You did it. Didn't you? <laughs> no matter what happens, you'll always be my brother, always. I am nothing to you. Look, I'm sorry to break up the party, but you both need it out there pronto. I'll stand by you. I promise. Shall we? We shall. <laughs> They're going to be here any minute. I'll take my chances. Oh, Rob, run the way. Only make things worse. What's going on? Yeah. Babe? I know you're anxious to marry me, but really? There's nowhere to go. To go? T to go where? You're pulling my leg, right? I'm so sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? What are you sorry about? Ask her. Ask me, precious sister. Rob! Rob! Tracy, Rob, what's going on? What the hell have you said to him? I don't think we should do this here. Well, I really don't care what you think. What have you said to him? Tracy, tell me! Clara, please. He killed Tina. What? Killed Tina. I thought you might have changed your mind. I, I, I was sat there and, and I was thinking, what if she doesn't come? What, what, what if... Tell me what I would have done. I love you so much. I love you too. We need to get going. We'll, um, we'll, we'll just drive it as far as we can on what's in the tank and then we'll dump it, yeah? It's probably best that you drive. Come, come on, babe. We, we need to move. Look, I, I, I know that you're scared, but please... I am so sorry. What for? You've changed your mind. Please don't hate me. If this was just about me, but it isn't. Amy's my child and I can't... I can't bear it. I don't want to lose you. I am so sorry. But look, she, she is your, your flesh and blood. There's no contest. I'm the one who should be saying sorry for... 
for ruining everything. <laughs> Rob! They must have followed you quick, babe. Quick. Look, we have to move it. If you stay here, they're going to charge you. I can't. You can't just give me the keys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Led them straight to me. I love you, Rob. I love you more than I have no, ever no, loved anyone. You don't even know the meaning of the no, word. No, that's not true. You I love you. You betrayed me. You do not betray someone Stop. that you love. Please, I couldn't go back. Oh, so you're going to put me there instead. Please. Oh, no. oh, Rob, I need you to be sensible here. The building's surrounded. Rob, listen to me. I want you to walk towards me. Place your arms out level with your shoulders. <laughs> Robert Donovan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention one question, something which you like to rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. I didn't have a choice. Like Carla had a choice, there is always a choice. Why did you do it? Rob! Rob, Rob please! Look. Rob! Oh, please! You will write, won't you? No. Because it's not the Roaring Twenties, but I tell you what I will do. I will phone you. <laughs> Me and my dad are going to Skype every night before I go to bed. Carla uh, had a word with him earlier, so... Oh, well, in that case, I'm surprised he hasn't locked himself in his room sobbing. Hey, she was really good with him, actually. Oh, that's the first time for everything. Uh, come on, Peter, we best get going, eh? Yeah, OK. Right, Dad, uh, I'll see you. And listen, you've always had my back, and I really appreciate it. You take care of yourself. I'll try my best. Lee, listen, uh, thanks, you know, oh, if, I, if I didn't know... Here. Hey, did you just try and smell my breath? Old habits. And you, you should behave yourself. Don't I always? <laughs> right, OK, I'm off. What about me? Well, I'm not going to stand here and say goodbye to you on the street, am I? You can come and see me off at the station. How about that? We'll do it properly, if, if that's all right. Can I? Go on. Yes. Leaving the girls like this. Don't worry, they'll be fine with me. I've got plenty of help. They'll barely know you've gone. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. And thanks, Beth, for having them tonight. Yeah, I'll be back before midnight. Yeah, no worries. I'll watch a film with them. Texas Chainsaw Massacre's on later. I'm kidding. Go on. Get gone. You all right? Yeah. Okay, okay. We'll best get a move on. Okay. No, don't, Beth. I'm going to sleep for the Bye, Stella. Fine, honestly. Nope. Don't nice worry. meeting nope. you. You too, kiddo. Oh. oh. <laughs> That school trip you're on about. Thank you. You're only young ones. No, don't, Beth, honestly, it's the one. Hmm. It's a really comfy sofa. 
I bet you've sat here a thousand nights watching box sets and sitcoms. Look, I don't care what you think of my life. I like it. And I'm not the same person I was back then. Really? I think you're exactly the same. I'm just wearing different clothes. I want you back. You know me, I always get what I want. You don't want me. I'm all boring now. No. Nah. Deep down, I think you still want me. No. I want you to go. Now. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I know what you want. You wanted a white Christmas? What are you doing? Oh, dear. Husband returns. Awkward moment. What the hell's going on? It's not what you think. Actually, it's exactly what you think. <laughs> so this is your dealer? Mm. I think it's time you properly introduced us. You brought your dealer into our house. Please, will you just go? Do you want this? No. Oh, really? Why? You brought him here on Christmas Day. Getting too much for you, was it? A family Christmas? To be fair, she didn't invite me. I was passing. You know how it is, spending a little happiness, but festive cheer. Where's Max and Lily? They're fine. Lily's having a nap. Max is out playing in the garden. All oh, right, well, you're down here, buying drugs in our house. Not buying. Oh, free samples, Warwick, for Christmas. I think it's time to tell him who I am. Please don't. What does it mean, tell me who he is? See, we go way back, long before you came on the scene. Please don't. Let, let me talk to him. Will just someone tell me what's going on? Let's just say I'm part of the family. Right, do you know what? I don't care who you are. You just get out of my house. Well, OK. But I'd better say goodbye to Max first. No, you're not saying goodbye to anybody now. Get out. I thought you said he was a nice bloke. Please. See, it's not very nice not letting a dad say goodbye to his son. Especially after he bought him a really expensive bike. <sighs> and the penny finally drops. Our secret's out. I'm Max's dad. Honest, it's uh, been quite difficult reconnecting with my son after all this time. Is he winding me up? Why didn't you tell me? Well, he's not Max's dad. You are. He's nothing. Oh, that's a bit harsh. You shut up, you. I'm part of his family, too. You are not part of my family. Oh, I love it when you're angry. She's always better when she's angry. Shut up! I can't believe this. You're getting drugs off Max's dad. How long has this been going on? Oh, there's so much more you don't know. Like what? I give her more than a couple of grams of speed. David, no! No, stop it! <coughs> Only us. How's the turkey looking? Uh, hey, what's going on? Well, tell him, then. I could, if you like. This is Max's dad. Max's dad? Oh, and Carly's drug dealer. What? Let me guess. Mother-in-law? Fancy a Christmas kiss under the mistletoe? No, I do not. I think you'd better leave. You get out of my house. My house? Get, get out of my son's house. Yes, go on, get out. Or would you like us to call the police? Tell Max to say goodbye. You know where I am. Merry Christmas, everyone. Ho, ho, ho. I never asked him to come here. He got in. I couldn't stop him. He came for you. Uh, maybe we should uh, leave these two to talk. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, Michael. No, I'm not leaving. David, please. I can explain. You've not set the table. Look, I know I messed up, but nothing's going on. I was finished with him. I'm OK now. Set the table. David. I've asked you to set the table. Will you forget about the stupid table? No, I won't, cos how can we have Christmas dinner without any knives and forks and spoons? David, you've got to sort this. Yeah, and there'll be plenty of time for that, but right now, me and the kids are going to have a nice Christmas family dinner. Now, can you set the table? David, you can't pretend nothing's happening. That's exactly what we are going to do. Have you seen my new bike? It's brilliant. Come see. You sort Lily out. No, not you. Mum. I'll get her. Oh, this is ridiculous. Well, what can we do? If he wants a family Christmas with her, then that's what we'll have to do. Look, Callum means nothing to me. Nothing to Max. Everything was going so well. Look, you are the only person that I care right. about. Right, that's all. But you don't burn yourself.
Where's the gravy? Oh, it's on the side. I'll, I'll get it. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, come on, poppies. How about a little cheaper latte, eh? Oh, you like Brussels sprouts. I thought no kid liked Brussels sprouts. I like them. Well, then, you are very special. You might be the only boy in the world who likes Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> are you OK? <laughs> Just need to learn around a few more rounds. And then what? And then nothing will ever be the same again. Oh. Mom, Mom, take them back to Bistro for a bit. David, what are you going to do? You've got to think about the kids. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. Oh, David. I'll be fine. Come on. Come on, you two. Let's get you back to the Bistro, eh? Next round's on me. Well, do you think that's wise? It's what he wants, now. Don't do anything rash. I know what it's like to lose a family. Come on, love. I feel like the condemned man waiting for me punishment. I know I've had a lot of second chances. I think the kids are tired. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Good day. Yeah, I think so. Good. David. Because that's the last time we have a family Christmas together. Don't say that. First, my brother, now Max is down. No, David, I never. Don't. You brought drugs into this house. You brought your dealer into this house. You're not fit to be a mother of these kids. I'm going to go get these ready for bed. You. Pack a bag and think about how you want to say goodbye without upsetting him. Max, come on, mate. It's bath and bed. This Christmas was way better than last year. All right, come on. Come on. Why do you have to go now? Because, well, one of my friends is poorly and she needs looking after. What friend? You don't know her. Melanie's looking after. Well, David will be here. He'll always be here because he's your dad. You do know that, don't you? When will you be back? I don't know, baby. That, it depends. Depends on what? <sighs> on lots of things. But I do love you. You and Lily. You know, I love you more than anything. And David. And David, yeah. I love you all. And I'll love you forever. Please, don't go. Max, I have to. Go to David, go on. Go on. Come in. It's all right, OK? It's going to be fine. Say goodbye to you, Mum. No. Max, Max, come here.
no more!